Uh, I am State Senator Ken Harm, and in early August, I went to a meeting in Chicago of the National, of the NCSL, the National Council of State Legislators, and they had a pre-session day on energy, and one of the presenters that uh, made it all worthwhile was uh, Mr. Ron Vince, and he was a presenter at one of the sessions and because public power in Nebraska is now looking at upgrading generation facilities, uh, it, it was a perfect fit. I invited him to come back to Nebraska, and uh, so we have him here today. Uh, I'd first like to thank the sponsors. I'd like to thank uh, UNL for giving us this space to meet in. I'd also like to thank Mr. Dick Holland, who uh, provided the financing for this trip. Uh, he couldn't be here, but I'm sure we're, we're going to have a recording here. I'll share that with him. The way we're going to run the session today is we're going to have about 30 minutes of presentation and slides by Mr. Binns. Uh, he'll tell you a little bit more about himself. And then we're going to have a full 30 minutes or so of Q&A and then you can stay around to talk with him for a little while, although he's got to be back on the road at 5 o'clock to catch his flight back to Denver. Um, as a brief introduction then, I would just say that over the next 20 years, it's, it's estimated that uh, totally the United States utility industry will spend $100 billion a year. That's $2 trillion over the next 20 years to upgrade its generation and transmi transmission capabilities, and public power in Nebraska will be part of that. And so, uh, Mr. Bins brings a very interesting perspective to this when he talks about the whole area of not just the cost of generation facilities, but the risk involved in different kinds of uh, investments. So I'd like you to please welcome Mr. Ron Bins. Now, as they say on an airplane, let's make sure we're all going to the same place. This is calculus three. <laughs> I, used, I used to teach mathematics, and it's been a long time since I was in a room that looked like this, although most of my students were about a third of the age of people in the room, <laughs> including myself. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to Lincoln and earlier today Omaha to talk about some of these issues. Um, I